Hey everyone, my name is Kirsten. I'm a technical educator intern here at Web3 Foundation. And today I'm going to be talking about anonymous proxies. So anonymous proxies are only accessible by another proxy that's set up. These proxies are labeled anonymous because these do not come with any associated private key, as regular proxies in primary user accounts would. All right, so here we have a photo of a primary account that has two proxies. It has a governance proxy and a staking proxy. Um, with the staking proxy, it also has a staking controller. You can choose to do that. Um, but this, this photo represents how regular proxies work. So we're going to keep this in mind moving forward to explore how anonymous proxies work. So now to explore how anonymous proxies work, um, the first step is that a user primary account calls the anonymous function. And when a user primary account calls the anonymous function, a new account gets created. So at this point, the user primary account has called the function anonymous, the new account has been created, and essentially now the two accounts switch roles. So the user primary account becomes the, the robot over here, and the proxy account becomes the old user primary account. So now with the roles switched, we see that the anonymous proxy is in front of the user primary account, and the user primary account can have other proxies similar to this photo here. So they can set up um, a governance proxy or a staking proxy, depending on what they'd like. Um, and this is the gist of how anonymous proxies work, how they're set up. And do note that if you decide to delete an anonymous proxy, the anonymous proxy account will no longer be available to access but the user account will still be available. So it's very important uh, to be cautious when creating and removing these types of proxies. Now you might be asking yourself, why should you set up an anonymous proxy? Like what's the benefit? There are two possible benefits of anonymous proxies. So one, it adds an extra layer of security for your user account and other possible proxies from that account. Recall that anonymous proxies are only accessible by the user that created it, no one else. So this ensures that someone can't access your user account, nor other possible proxies attached to it. So like governance, staking, etc. And the second benefit of anonymous proxies is that they create permissionless management. If we take this example, um, here we can see a multi-sig account that holds four different addresses. And please note, if you need some refreshing on multi-sigs, uh, I suggest you head over to our Polkadot.wiki website, where it dives into examples and um, explanations of how multi-sigs and other concepts work. All right, so now that we see that, so now we see that for Alice and Bob's primary user accounts, they have an anonymous proxy set up. Now, if the multi-sig here wanted to remove either Alice or Bob or even add in a new account into the anonymous proxy, that can be done by managing just the anonymous proxy right here. Now, by managing just the anonymous proxy, the multi-sig itself doesn't change. On the other hand, if we didn't have an anonymous proxy set up and just had a, a multi-sig account, when we go to modify it, the entire multi-sig is affected and a new multi-sig would then be created. So with an anonymous proxy setup, permissionless management is a great benefit. All right, so next I'm gonna show you how to set up an anonymous, anonymous proxy yourself. Uh, so we wanna make sure that we're on polkadot.js.org slash apps and currently I'm on the accounts page. So to get there, you would go to accounts, click on the accounts button here. Um, and this is where I can see all of my accounts that I've made, um, the balances, I can send transfers from here, uh, the type of account it is. Um, and another thing to note is that I'm currently on the Polkadot network. Uh, if you wanted to switch your network, you can do so by clicking on this. 
And then you can choose from uh, a, sel a selection of live test networks or even a custom, a custom node um, if you're running one. So to set up an anonymous proxy, we're going to head over to Developer. We're going to click on Extrinsics. And this will bring us to this page. So first thing that we want to do is we want to look through all the palettes. We want to select the proxy palette. And the proxy palette will allow us to choose um, any one of these functions to set up or delete our proxies. So I'm going to click on the anonymous function. And from here, I want to select an account to set up my anonymous proxy with. So it loads up all my accounts, so I can choose any one of my accounts here. Um, I'm just gonna choose this one. I can also um, modify the proxy type for the anonymous proxy and the index, um, but you don't have to. And then the next thing that we would do is we'd hit submit transaction, and then we would hit sign and submit. And that's easy, and that's it. So I've hoped you enjoyed this video. I've hoped that you learned a little bit something about anonymous proxies. Um, there's more information too on the Polkadot Wiki about uh, anonymous proxies and other types of proxies if you're interested. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to reach out and I will see you in the next one.